guys, welcome to your love reading for Leo. This is gonna be for the second half of your August from the 16th to the 31st. Uh, we are gonna take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my own YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Leo, let's get started here. Tell me about Leo. What messages do we have here for Leo in love and the person that they are connected with for the first, not the first half, the second half of their August from the 16th to the 31st? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. So we have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Could be dealing with the air sign here. You might even have air energy in your chart here. Okay, with the Ace of Cups here. Leo, seems like there's new love coming into your life. Or someone here wants to get off their chest about how they truly feel about you here is that they are in love with you. I mean, you might be expressing that to your person. Okay, so like I said, switch the roles if you want. Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups here with the Justice card, Libra energy. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, someone here's about to express their truth about how they feel about you here, okay? They're gonna tell you that they're committed to you, okay? They're gonna tell you that they want you, all right? I do feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person finds you someone who's very attractive, very independent here, self-sufficient. I feel like this is one of the things that this person likes about you or that you like about your person here. For the page of wands, Aries del Sash, and also the four cups here, wow. There is a situation here where I feel like someone here is feeling like you are one of a one of a kind here, okay? Whoever this is, I feel like this person cannot stop thinking about you. I feel like this person also cannot stop sexually fantasizing about you. Like I said, like I said, you could switch the roles if you want. Maybe that's how you're feeling towards your person. Queen of Swords. And the King of Swords. We have the King to Queen of Swords. True pairs here. This is a soulmate connection. Ace of Cups and the Five of Cups in the reverse. Like, I feel like whoever you're dealing with here, Leo, I feel like this person has a tendency to make you feel really good here, and they make all the sadness, or that all the sadness washes away when you speak with this person here. I feel like this person is very motivating, very inspiring here, Leo. We have the Five of Cups in the reverse time with the Justice card and the Strength card, Leo Energy, Nine of Pentacles, and also the Two of Swords. Seems like you guys have a strong soul tie. You guys have a strong soul contract. You guys could be updating your soul contract in this lifetime here. Why is the Two of Swords here? Oh, interesting. You know, I feel like some here is also like, you know, one person's like unsure whether they want to take this on or not because some here is not trusting someone or trusting this connection. Because I feel like some here has been hurt a lot. This is interesting. Some here could be in this energy of like, you know, just worried that they're going to be disappointed here. Now, this could be you, this could be your person. Like I said, switch the if you want. Tell me about Leo, the person that Leo is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo for the first half of their August? Not the first half, I'm so sorry, the second half. From the 16th to the 31st, Sun Moon Rising, Venus signs for Leo. So we have a page of cups here and temperance, Sagittarius energy. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy. 
And we have the Ace of Wands. Eight of Cups. Empress and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Libra, Taurus with the Empress here. I feel like there's a lot of cuteness here. You know, I feel like someone here is like very playful here too. This person that you're dealing with here. I just feel like this person likes you a lot, cares about you a lot, has deep feelings here for you. But I also feel like this person is definitely like trying to observe and get to know you here. Okay, we have temperance here and wow, well, we have the empress of the empress here. This is a true pair. And this is a divine counterpart here, you guys. This is also a very healing connection, a very passionate connection here. Okay. There's going to be passion, there's going to be love, there's going to be growth and expansion here. You know, there's a sense of, you know, wanting to build. Uh, we have the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups. This person is really passionate about you. The Eight of Cups here and the Knight of Wands. You know, I feel like one person's scared to get hurt here. You know, some one person's not trusting this because someone here is worried that their person is a player here. Knight of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy with it. Yeah, I feel like this feminine energy is really worried about this here. Page of Pentacles here in the Three of Cups. I feel like this feminine energy is worried that there are other parties in the picture here. I don't feel like there is. No, I don't feel like there is. I do feel like this person is very genuine, very sincere, very mature here, and knows what they want. Okay, it doesn't play games here. I just feel like some here is just feeling really triggered from past experiences here. What else do we offer for Leo? What else does Leo need to know? Look out for work for the second half of your August from the 16th to the 31st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Two of Cups here. Soulmate connection. We have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This could be an indication that your communication is pretty good because or pretty well. Uh, because I feel like you guys are like, you know, very attentive. You guys are checking on it, checking in on each other here. I mean, some of you guys could be going into this connection here where, you know, you know, both you guys might have children here, you know, and I feel like this could be a blended family. But with the King of Cups here and the Fool card, this masculine energy here, um, Leo basically is ready to go. This person is willing to accept you with open arms here and an open heart. And I feel like this person hopes you feel the same way here. Cheer with the King of Wands here and the Ace of Pentacles. This is an individual that's really passionate about you here. They want commitment here with you. You know, I feel like this person is just, you know, they, they, they're, they're settled on you here. They, 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 they want you. They don't want anybody else but you. The Two of Cups here and the Six of Wands, this person knows where victory and success lies here, Leo. The Page of Swords here and the Wheel of Fortune here, this person just knows and they just know that they are destined to be with you here, okay? This is definitely a divinely guided soulmate connection, okay? This is a past life soulmate connection here. Um, I do feel like there's, you know, definitely some karma, uh, you know, involved in this situation here, but I feel like it, due to your guys' spiritual connection and due to your guys' soul contract here, you know, I do see that, you know, it wouldn't be anything that you guys can't take care of here, you know? Because I feel like you guys are going to do it together. We have the Chariot here and the Fool. Cancer Energy, the King of Wands here, and also the Hermit. This is a very spiritual individual. Like I said, this is a very spiritual connection here too. I do feel like this connection is definitely going to move forward here. I do feel like this person wants to basically manifest here with you, uh, Leo. Okay, this person is going to do everything that they can to make this connection work. All right, so Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. <coughs> like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.